Freezing. Hello, konnichiwa. Yeah, that's about the excitement I have in me tonight, too. So let's try that again. Hello, konnichiwa. There we go. All right. So, everybody having fun? Nice to be back for the second year after the COVID reprieve. Uh, we actually had a rebound in attendance this year, which is nice. Um, we're still trying to get used to this hotel a little bit, though. If you haven't noticed, it's kind of weird being in two locations with the main events over here and the, the stuff going on over there. So we're going to be working a little bit over next year and to trying to get a little bit better uh, movement between the two locations because it seems like people like being in one location and they're stuck there and they don't want to go to the next location. So. Um, <laughs> Watch out for that for next year. So, but I just want to let you guys know that because I know that that's the one thing that we've kind of uh, given our own selves a feedback. So, in case you're not here for closing ceremonies tomorrow, I at least want to let you guys know that that was going on. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Wow. Uh, other than that, I know why you guys are here. You're here to see these amazing outfits, right? Yeah. And while I love to talk and I can pray BS is the best of them, I'm not going to be your MC tonight because that's just not what I do. So, without further ado. I will bring Miss Lani Chan on to be your MC for the night. I actually don't need a handheld mic this year. I got a headset. Aloha! All right, thank you so much, everybody, and welcome to your 2022 Masquerade! Everybody, before we begin our show tonight, I would like to introduce our 2022 Masquerade judges. First up, we have Corey Ann Cosplay. Corey Klein, better known as or by her alias Corey Ann Cosplay, was introduced to the world of cosplay in 2014 and has never looked back since. She continued cosplay during college and she got her degree in art education. She is known for her recreations of characters from League of Legends, specifically her Zaya, which won her first in category, first in her category at Phoenix Fan Fusion 2018, as well as The Legend of Zelda. Corey's view on cosplay is that anyone and everyone can do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. When she's not cosplaying or working on it, she is teaching her 6th to 12th grade art students, working on art commissions, or playing video games on her PC and consoles. You can follow her on Instagram at Mythical Majesty to see more of her creations. Everybody, this is Corey Ann Cosplay. Yeah. Up next, we have Sweets for a Sweet Cosplay. Candy McFarland was born and raised in Jackson, Michigan. After attending her first convention in 2011, Candy debuted her first cosplay, Ursula the Sea Witch from The Little Mermaid. Woo! Since then, she's added an extensive number of costumes to her resume, including many variations of Miss Piggy, Fiona, and Fairy Godmother from Shrek, Queen of Hearts, Peggy Bundy from Mary with Children, yeah. Dolores Umbridge from Harry Potter, Captain Hook, Pam Booby from Archer, Miss Beakley from DuckTales, and Darla from Finding Nemo. Yeah, that's a lot. I love it. <laughs> she is most known for her attention to detail and for and, and film accurate replications. <laughs> However, she is also proud of her original designs. Candy was the cover model for the June 2014 issue of Cosplay Plus magazine and has been featured in numerous articles and interviews on various media platforms, including CNN, MSN, Adult Swim, Nerdist, and Cosplay Culture. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Candy is passionate about supporting confidence in cosplay and body acceptance. She writes articles for various blogs on confidence and anti-bullying, including several inspirational videos. She travels to many conventions across the U.S. However, her full-time job is an administrator for a large engineering firm. Nice. And in her spare time, she continually strives to improve her skills in wig styling, prop building, is a makeup effects artist at a local haunted attraction, and has taught many cosplay classes at a local art school. Candy also enjoys reading, console gaming, and various fandoms like DC Comics, 80s movies, and horror films. You can find more information at our website at www.sweetsforasweet.com or on Facebook at Sweets for a Sweet Cosplay. Follow her on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, and Vero at Sweets for a Sweet. Oh, this is, is Sweets for a Sweet. Yeah, Please give it up for Candy yeah. Sparkling. Yeah. 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 All right. And our third judge for tonight. This is Artemis Stick. Artemis Stick has been sewing since 2009 and cosplaying since 2013. 
Since joining the cosplay world, they have won multiple Best in Show titles for costume craftsmanship, judged a variety of cosplay competitions, and created educational content on sewing, crafting, and makeup. They have also partnered with a variety of well-known brands, including Hus Husqvarna? Husqvarna. Yes. Husqvarna, yes. Husqvarna North America, Singer Sewing, Olaf Bay Crafts, Entertainment Earth, Amazon, and, slide and Sideshow Collectibles. Celebrated for their skill and transformations, they enjoy embodying the characters they cosplay as completely as possible. Woo. Artemis Stick loves attending conventions across the country and connecting with others. You can find them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok under Artemis Stick. Everybody, this is Artemis Stick! Yes. Woo. Is everybody ready for your 2022 masquerade? Yeah. Yeah. All right, contestants, are you ready for your 2022 masquerade? Yeah. yeah. All right. right. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. So now, I would love to introduce entry number one in the novice category. This is Ooh, it's Riles and Oregano One Kenobi as Aqua and Megumin from Konosuba. A useless goddess and a crimson witch go on an adventure. What could go wrong? the great Sega man, as Videl from Dragon Ball. Gohan is a regular high school student to all of his other classmates, but he also moonlights as the superhero, the great Sega man. His fellow classmate and crime fighter, Videl, is adamant that she find out Sega man's secret identity, and she has an inkling that it might be Gohan. <laughs> Looks like there's some trouble brewing over there. I could probably help out. Let's go check it out. Well, that takes care of that. Don't worry, citizens. Your troubles are over, for the great Saiyaman has appeared! These evildoers have been thwarted, and they will receive their just desserts. Now, I must be on my way, for evil never sleeps! Wait just a minute, Saiyan Man. The police and I have that completely under control. You weren't needed or wanted here. <laughs> well, Videl... <clears throat> I mean, uh, Miss Videl, I was in the area and I thought I could. Well, you thought wrong. As fellow crime fighters, shouldn't we work together to handle things? I don't need your help. Now get out of here. If you no longer need my services, I'll get out of your hair. I'll see you in class, Videl. What was that? Oh, Kami, she's going to find out. Say something! I said, nice ass, Fidel! A bore! A bore! What? Why? You! Uh, until next time, Miss Fidel! Don't think you'll get away with mocking me like this. I'll figure you out, Sam Man! <laughs> I wasn't mocking. She really does have a nice face. <laughs> Holy cow, I love that. <laughs> All right, that's great. All right, so up next, we have entry number four in the novice category. This is Neo, this is Neo as Neapolitan from Ruby. Neapolitan from Ruby in her volume seven outfit.
color scheme on that. I love that. All right. Next up, we have entry number six. In the novice category, we have Witch of Jotunheim as the Kyrie Valentine from Monster High. From a world of monsters, a young vampire who instead of feeding on blood, feeds on the concept of love. After breaking the hearts of many who fancies him, he must learn what love truly is while trying to mend the relationships of the ones he hurt in the past. seen Monster High in a while. Like, I'm not great. I love that. All right, let's give it up for entry number seven. In the journeyman category, this is Lark Like Ray as a Mandalorian Bakugol. So this is a fusion of My Hero Academia and Star Wars. A hot-headed main protagonist meets a new adventure from the galaxy. This isn't his normal hero dream, but became a bounty hunter instead. like that. I, I love mashups like that. It's like, <laughs> that was cool. All right, like, like everything's been really, really cool so far. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm borderline jealous. Like, like Tucson has really showed up tonight. Like, this Woo! is really cool. Woo Thank you. All right, here we go with entry number nine. This is in the journeyman category. This is Cosmic Cloud as Technoblade from Dream SMP. Technoblade never dies. He may have left this world, but his content, joy, happiness, and memories are still here for us. Good game, nerds. Good game. Yeah. The only thing that works in this world is that you treat others as they treat you. Trafalgar D. Waterlaw from One Piece. Yes. From the North. 
North Blue, captain of the High Pirate, the, the Heart Pirates, <laughs> Trafalgar Long, the surgeon of death. His Kikoku is hand painted and completely handmade, sharp enough to cut the heart of any pirate out. Oh. You look great. <laughs> I forgot my music. Oh. Category. We have Cake Monster Cosplay as Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. It was a long time ago, longer now than it seems, in a place that perhaps you've seen in your dreams. For the story that you are about to be told began with the holiday worlds of old. Now you've probably wondered where holidays come from. If you hadn't, I'd say it's time you begun. Yeah. Tune series.
Bravo, bravo, indeed. Man, I love that. God, I wish I could, I wish I could play violin like that. All right. Up next, we have entry number 15 in the novice category. Please welcome Sydney as Kokomi from Genshin Impact. called the Flame Alchemist for good reason. The audio came from the anime and the voice actor's name is Travis Willingham. is in here. 
something as bad as it feels. You can call me Roy Mustang, or just Lieutenant Colonel. Hell, you can call me the Flame Alchemist. Whatever you do, remember the pain. That's incredible. Man, is Fulman Alchemist in like the throwback era now? Is that like considered vintage now? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, 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 I'm not ready for that. No, I swear, I'm young, I'm young, I'm young. It's cool, 2012 is still new. Anyway. <laughs> All right, here is entry number 17. In the novice category, this is Vivid Bad Squad. As Kohana and An from Project Sekai. Here we go. Please welcome Vivid Bat Squad and Kohana and An from Project Sekai. in the novice category. Please welcome Mystic Chrono to Kenichiwa 2022 as Chrono from Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Yeah. Super duper special plan for you. As always, we have our traditional halftime show, and uh, for better or for worse, it's me. <laughs> well, it's me, and it is also alongside with my boyfriend and one of our best friends. So, what we're going to be having for you is something super duper special. But before we do that, I want to ask a question real fast. How many of you is this your first anime convention? Like the first time attending? Ooh, nice. How many of you is this your first Konnichiwa? All right, so that's good. How many of you, this is your second? Third? Fourth? Five? Fifth one? Sixth 
one. Seven, eight, nine. Nine, there we go, nine right there. How about 10? We're celebrating 10 years this year. Is it 10 next year? Actually, no, we've already surpassed the 10 year mark though, I think. Is it 2019? 11 years. 11? 11, there's two of us. Okay, there's three, there's three, four? Yes. Who was here since 2010? Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay, that's awesome. 